It's Monday, March 16th, 2009, and Chalupa here just got fixed this morning. I'm sorry, buddy. It's not a fun thing for a guy to have to do to his little guy. Probably not for girls either, but I think guys feel it just a little bit more. But he seems to be doing pretty well, right? Because you're a fucking trooper. Anyway, we're gonna put you down. Last night, I asked a question of uh, the people that follow me or subscribe to me on Twitter and FriendFeed. Very simple question. It is, what is your favorite euphemism for being drunk? This is what you said. Socially lubricated, thrown, tore back, sloshed, plowed, shit fucked, smashed, hammered, shit face, the classics. Three sheets to the wind. Awake, befuddled, trolleyed. Schnickered, hosed, charmingly verbose, saucy, bladdered, euphemized. Oh, clever. They have a puss full. Pissed, lit, fucked up, pre-blackout. Don't I know it. Happy, stupid, blitzed, trashed, schmemonied. <laughs> That's my Melissa. Twatted. Ah, uh, the English stepping up to the plate. That sounds like a Brit. Gazeboed. Normal. On the piss. A good day. Toasty. And Rasheen chimed in with slizzard, which I'm pretty confident he made up. Pickled. In the bag. Now, this is a unique one. All tall. All tall. Does that mean you're on the ground and you're looking up at everyone and they appear all tall? I don't know. Chalupa? Can I get a judgment? He doesn't know. Schnockered. Wrecked. I'm fucking drunk dot com. Come on. Befuddled. Tatered. Blotto. Annihilated. Ripped to the tits. Separated. Shit housed. So you might be curious, what is my favorite euphemism for being drunk? I'm a big fan of shit hammered. Have a great day. Ripped to the tits.